Welcome back to our series on longevity and biohacking. I'm your host CJ and today we're going to talk about the second hallmark of aging which is mitochondrial dysfunction. Now if you're new to biohacking or looking to expand your knowledge to live a longer healthier life this is the right place to start so let's get started mitochondria what are they they're often known as the powerhouse of our cells because they generate the energy that our cells need to function and perform all of our duties however as we age our mitochondria become less efficient and they start to in a way malfunction this is what we refer to as mitochondrial dysfunction that means dysfunctioning of the mitochondria now imagine a power plant a power plant that supplies power to the entire city. If the power plant starts to break down, the entire city will experience power shortages and disruptions. Similarly, when our mitochondria are not working perfectly, it affects our energy in our body, in our mind, and the way we act in the world. And this also lowers down our longevity. So you must be wondering, mitochondrial dysfunction is important, but how does it happen? Well, the first thing, as most of the aging processes, is oxidative stress. Mitochondria produce energy through a process called Called oxidative phosphorylation and this process generates a lot of free radicals as byproducts which can really damage the mitochondria and damage themselves so oxidative stress is a major sign of dysfunction within the mitochondrial cells itself there was a study published in the nature reviews of molecular cell biology and they showed us that mitochondrial oxidative damage only increases with age and this can contribute to various health diseases problems and ultimately aging in our last video we spoke about genomic instability. Mitochondria have their own DNA as well. So we have our nuclear DNA and then we have mitochondrial DNA. The mitochondrial DNA is also susceptible for these different mutations like we spoke about earlier. This is because mitochondria's repair mechanisms just deteriorate over time and these mutations will not allow the mitochondria to be functioning at its best. Now there was a review paper that came in the translational medicine journal and that showed that these mutations are one of the biggest contributors in the aging process. Then there's a process in the mitochondria that gets impaired, which is called mitochondrial biogenesis. Now, mitochondrial biogenesis is a process by which we can make new mitochondria. As we age, this process becomes really inefficient, which leads to a decline in the number and the malfunction of mitochondrial cells itself. And honestly, this is one of the biggest reasons why a lot of athletes, they retire early because at a higher level, their mitochondria doesn't function so well in the later stages. Now, it's good that we understand some of these mechanisms because this way we can figure out how we could change that power supply in the city to give the whole city more energy, which is eventually your mitochondria. So mitochondria, they're interesting because, you know, in certain diseases like Parkinson's, in Alzheimer's, in cardiovascular diseases, one of the things that is very common is that all of them have some sort of a mitochondrial dysfunction and mitochondrial impairment because of which the people get sick and then they turn out to have so many different kind of diseases throughout their life. Some get detected, some get undetected, but to fix mitochondria, we can attack it from multiple angles. First thing is eating. Eat a diet which is full of antioxidants. And you know what antioxidants are. We've been talking about it for such a long time. And one of the things that you can also do is consume a diet which is good enough in fats. Fats like nuts, like avocados, omega-3 fatty acids because these provide health the building blocks for the mitochondria. There's a process called mitochondrial biogenesis by which you can increase the number of mitochondria, the new number of mitochondria and their efficiency within your cells. High intensity interval training has been shown to do that very well. So figure out a way to do some kind of a high intensity interval training. It could be CrossFit, it could be sprints, it could be anything that will help you increase your mitochondrial biogenesis. We spoke about eating, but it's also important to fast. Intermittent fasting or just fasting has shown to increase mitochondria mitochondrial health by triggering a process called mitophagy, which is where the old mitochondrial cells are removed and they're replaced with the new ones. There have been multiple researches and research paper about how fasting can actually increase mitochondria and increase longevity. This is one of the reasons why you see this huge trend of fasting all over the world. Everyone's been fasting, at least in the recent times, most of them to lose weight. But the reason you 
you're losing weight is because you're getting better mitochondria. The other thing which is a trend these days is ice baths or cold exposure. They work too because they directly boost mitochondria health. There's an herb called rhodiola and it's also been shown to have better mitochondrial function and it also increases our body's resistance and resilience to stress. Similarly, I can think of other herbs like bacopa minori or ashwagandha. These are adaptogenic herbs just like rhodiola but they have also been shown to increase the mitochondrial energy production. Breath work is important. In the yogic sciences, prana is referred to as the vital force of the body which flows through the body and when you do some sort of a breath work practice or even meditation it helps you reduce your stress and every time you reduce your stress you can increase your mitochondrial output we spoke about rasayanas earlier in the last video and you know having something like rasayana herbs two which are popular for mitochondria are amalaki and shatavri you can find this at your local ayurvedic store and these are really good when it comes to increasing vitality mitochondria and overall health now let's look at some supplements yep there are certain supplements which are very specific to mitochondria one of them is coenzyme q10 coenzyme q10 actually works by increasing the energy output in the mitochondria itself when you supplement with coenzyme q10 it can reduce things like oxidative stress some studies have also shown us that it improves mitochondria's health directly and um, if you have any kind of mitochondrial impairments it helps you fight that the next one is alpha lipolic acid or ALA it is a powerful antioxidant that protects the mitochondria against oxidative damage in fact there have been multiple researches that suggest that just using ALA for a few days can visibly show you how it impacts your aging it can reverse it then is another supplement called PQQ it's got a very long and complicated name. Now, PQQ works really well with coenzyme Q10. They work in synergy to boost mitochondria. And I would advise you that if you are going to take PQQ, combine it with a little bit of fasting, a little bit of calorie restriction, a little bit of exercise. And when you combine all of these things together and then you take supplements, you're going to get a 10x ROI or return on investment for what you will be putting in. If you do it in isolation, it works as well. But if you do it all together, it works like magic. And if you want to put more magic into it then add some red light therapy which has been shown to increase mitochondrial efficiency mitochondrial output and reduce things like oxidative stress then we have this will seem like similar to last time cold therapy or cryotherapy cryotherapy helps boost mitochondrial output mitochondrial biogenesis repairs the dna and switches on certain genes pathways that help the other one that i can think of similar to dna help is actually hyperbaric oxygen treatment hyperbaric oxygen treatment is amazing and it's been there for a while this is where you jump in a tube full of oxygen at a hundred percent or a 98 percent and uh, your cells are flooded with oxygen trust me your body just goes into this repairing mode all the time so hyperbaric is a good one try going to one of your closest biohacking centers and uh, go at it it's interesting now there is you know when we look at a lot of ancient wisdom one of the things that i remember is the secret to change change is to focus all your energy on not fighting the old but building the new. Socrates said that and what he meant was instead of using all of your energy to you know fighting these old things like habits and all these bad things just replace them with new ones and replace them with the ones that will provide your body a better chance a better healing opportunity because you know healing from anything is just a matter of time and sometimes it's a matter of opportunity so take the opportunity to support your mitochondria and this can have like profound impacts on your health that's it for today's video if you like the video leave us a review tell us what you liked about it and i'll see you in the next video